Hi, this is Luke Zip from Crocker Farm Auction, and I'm here with a great example of New York State stoneware that we're including in our March 24th Stoneware and Redware Auction. Uh, what's really exciting about American stoneware for me is that even though stoneware was made to be very durable, heavy uh, uh, storage vessels, potters often used the, the medium of stoneware to, for artistic expression. So they used the body of the uh, stoneware vessel as really a canvas for artistic expression. And this is an extreme example of that. It was made at the West Troy Pottery in New York State, although it's unsigned. Uh, similarity to uh, surviving examples, especially if uh, we, we sold in 2015 a uh, stoneware crock signed West Troy Pottery with a, an elephant decoration with very similar, it was rendered in a very similar way. Also, the capacity mark um, lets us know without a doubt that it was made at the West Troy New York Pottery. Uh, what's so cool about this piece is just, first of all, the scale of the decoration. When you consider this crock as an artistic canvas, really the decorator used the whole canvas to, uh, to make his artistic uh, expression. And uh, what's cool is, is, so it's a mule, and the West Troy pottery was right there. You know, West Troy really relied on the, uh, the canals and the, the mule barges for uh, shipping, you know, any vessels, any goods to and from the city. So the mules were very uh, integral to the, the commerce of West Troy, New York. And so it was very known to the potters. And they took the time on this vessel, you know, in most pieces, as you know, if you're collectors of American stoneware, uh, if they are decorated, yeah, it's, it's a very, you know, quickly executed floral decoration, occasionally birds. It's very rare to have something like mammals or humans on a piece of New York State stoneware. So this piece, uh, to have a mule, is just extremely unheard of. But you can see just the artistic skill of the decorator to take cobalt oxide, you know, very mo monochromatic uh, cobalt oxide, and make, uh, you know, convey really everything that this mule <laughs> had to offer. So what's really unusual is most decorations from New York State on this time were, were uh, slip trail decorations. So it's really kind of outlining with a little bit of shading to convey uh, what the decorator was trying to uh, convey. This example was brushed on cobalt oxide, very similar to that elephant, that really well-known elephant that we sold back in 2015. That it's just the whole, uh, you know, the whole body of the mule is just brushed cobalt oxide. But the, the decorator really used gradations in the cobalt, the brush strokes, to convey the, uh, the body of the, the mule. And then, took a technique which is almost unheard of in American uh, stoneware decoration, really a sgraffito technique carved away with a, with a needle tool. Features like the eye, the flowing hair on the brow, delineated the front and hind legs, some hair on the front of the mule as well, his tail. This type of artistic expression is really reminiscent of you know, folk artists like you know, Bill Trailer, you know, his, uh, his art, which is all just one, one singular image uh, to convey a, uh, a very complex design. It's really, it's something that I've, you really have to see in person. I've loved being around this in our gallery since it was consigned. It really is a new discovery that has uh, been hidden in a collection for decades. We're thrilled to be the first ones to offer it for public sale in our March 24th Stoneware and Redware auction.